Okay, now the time has come to put Canary deployments to the test. I mean, Canary deployments created through JunkySX. So let's have a very quick look as a refresher of what do we have right now in our cluster or in my cluster to be more precise. So if I look at the production namespace, we can see that uh, there are quite a few resources deployed. We can see that there is a deployment, there is a service, there are some pods, uh, replica sets, horizontal pod autoscaler, uh, release, which is JenkinsX custom resource, and there is a canary resource that is currently in the status initialized. And there is more. Right? If we if we output virtual services and gateways and destination rules, we can see that we got those as well. We got these two virtual service and a gateway and the des two destinations rules, one for Canary and one for primary. And all those things were created out of the box without us defining anything, without specifying anything, just by creating a quick start in JenkinsX and by changing a few values in values YAML file of this specific environment, in this case production. So the changes that were done is that we just added JX Canary entry with HPA enabled true, so that horizontal pod autoscaler is enabled, it is disabled by default, and Canary also enabled true and the host set to a specific address, whatever the address is. So with those few variables, JankySX understood that it should use Canary deployments with Flagger to deploy the application to production. And of course, for that to work, if you're familiar with uh, Istio, we had to add the label Istio injection enabled so that it, Istio itself injects sidecar containers. So few entries in the values file, told JenkinsX that we want to use Canary deployments and JenkinsX created all the resources and did everything it needed to do. Uh, among other things, it employed Flagger for the Canary deployments themselves. Now that I'm in the repository of the production environment, I will go to the repository of the application itself and I will modify the source code so that the output is instead of HTTP example, it will say HTTP example with Canary deployments. That will allow us to see the process of Canary deployments in action. So we're, I'm, we're going to add those changes, commit them and push them to GitHub and let JenkinsX capture that change and run a pipeline which will result in a deployment of the new release, in this case in production. So let's watch the activities of the Canary pipeline, uh, JX Canary, which is the name of the application itself. And we can see that uh, a new build is running. It is running. It will take a while until, until it is finished. I will probably speed up this part of the video so that you don't wait too much. And once all the statuses of the new build of the new activity are succeeded, when I'm going to press Control C to stop watching for the activities. And I'm going to also double check whether the staging activity behind the staging environment is finished. Because what JenkinsX does is whenever we push something to the repository of the application itself, it automatically deploys the new release to some environments, in this case to staging. But what we really want to do is promote it to production. But before we promote it to production, I'm going to wait until it is running in staging so that we can get the version number. So we are watching for the activities in the staging environment. And once they are finished, I'm going to press Control C and stop watching it. And then let's see, is our new release running in staging? We can do that by sending a request. And it is, the output is something, something with Canary deployment. Now let's take a look at the Canaries, Canary resource in staging. And there is none because we are not employing Canaries in staging. We want Canaries only in production. 
Okay, so what is running in, in our cluster right now? We can see from JX get application that we have JX Canary application, release O3 running in staging, and release O1, in my case, in your case it might be different, running in production. You can see that by production and staging columns. So we want to promote the release from staging, release O3, to production, and we want to the deployment behind that promotion to be canary. So let's uh, export the version. In my case, it's O3. In your case, whatever the version is, is staging. And we are going to execute JX promote JX canary. Specify the version. Specify the environment, which is production. And batch mode means don't ask me questions. So let's wait until uh, Jenkins X modifies the production environment repository by creating new branch, making changes according to what we desire to promote. It, it will wait, it waits until a pull request from that branch is processed and then it merges it to the master branch. Now, soon a new release or canary process will start and we'll start deploying, iterating with the new release. So let's see how that looks like. Uh, I'm going to execute an infinite loop of requests. So while true, we're going to send CURL request to the production address. It is, and then sleep for a second, just not to stress the system too much. So it will be an infinite loop of sending requests to production. And at the beginning, we can see that all our responses are saying hello from Jenkinsex Golang HTTP example. All responses are coming from the old release. And then that will take a while, a minute or two. And then at one moment, here we go, it starts saying that some of the responses are coming from the new release, the one that has output message with canary deployment. Approximately 20% of the requests are coming from the new release. The reason for 20 because it kind of is was configured and it's configured automatically to iterate 20% at the time. And then right now Flagger is evaluating metrics and checking whether there is that there is exaggerated number of errors or slow responses or whatever the metrics are. And if everything goes fine and if it continues meeting the requirements, Canary Deployments, Flagger, will keep increasing the percentage of requests going to the new release and decreasing the percentage of the requests going to the old release. And I will speed this up because it will take a couple of minutes until it uh, finishes the whole process, but we can see that as the time progresses, more and more requests are coming from the new release and less and less are coming from the old release. And the reason for that is simply because there is a constant evaluation of the metrics and since metrics are returning positive results, Flagger is continuously increasing the reach of the new release until all the requests are coming from that new release. And now we can see that all the requests are from the new release. So the process finished or is finishing. And uh, from now on, all uh, our users, all the requests, all traffic is going to the new release and the old release is, is gone. So let's cancel this loop with control C and retrieve the applications in the production environment. And we can see that now application canary, JX Canary has a release O3 in running in production. URL is not visible because by default JenkinsX assumes that URL comes from ingress and we are using Istio gateway, so it's a bit confused that there that might be fixed in the future. For now, ignore it. So let's take a look at the canaries canary resources and we can see that we still have only one and that is JX canary and now the status is finalizing so it is finishing doing the last piece last actions it needs to do but our 
uh, our new release should be completely finished the deployment should be successful anytime now i will repeat the same command a few more times and now we can see that it succeeded so we have a full-blown canary deployment running in production every time we promote a new release of this application that promotion will result result in canary deployments of that new release in production and i haven't done almost anything the only action from uh, outside of showing you what's happening by querying stuff the only thing that i did uh, that we did is to create a new quick start with jenkins x and modify few values to tell that tell jenkins x that we want to use canary deployments and not in all under all circumstances not in all environments that but that we want canary deployments only running in production so let's go out of this directory we are finished we don't need there is not much more i will not i will skip showing you uh, what would happen in case of uh, a failure what would happen if uh, some of the metrics in prometheus uh, tell can uh, flagger that certain threshold is reached and how flagger would roll back you probably know all that uh, if you don't go to the course the point is that uh, i wanted to show you just that flagger is now part of jenkins x you can use it by changing a few values